All right, today there's an auction going on, and so we're going to try to bid on a few things. This auction happens to be a TV and movie prop business that went out of business, and there's a couple things in there I want, mainly for the game room, so let's see what happens. All right, so here we are at the auction. A um, few little things coming up. I don't know why I really wanted this boat from Red Notice, but I'm not going to buy it, or I'm not going to bid on it. It does look to be... I mean, it looked to be a little rough shape, but I mean, it's kind of neat. But I do want this here popcorn vending machine, and I would like to redo it and restore it. So we're gonna keep our eyes on this. We've got 30 minutes left. It's currently at 50 bucks. So we'll see what it goes to. There is a slot machine going in the game room that I have, and I would like to get a few more. I'm not sure how I feel about those. But they kind of, I mean, they say they're casino chairs, cushion, I mean, I don't know. They have to keep an eye on that. Oh, I would like to have these two, these uh, snack food trays, vintage. I don't know if they really are or not, but they, uh, they look pretty neat. Nice little decor. So on these auctions, I really like to wait till the last two to three minutes before I place a bid. I don't like placing bids ahead of time. That just, to me, drives the price up quicker than it should. And uh, honestly, if you if you wait too long, you'll also get known, not known, but you'll get a uh, refresh on time. So some of these auction houses, when you if you wait and place a bid within two minutes or within a minute of it closing, it may bump the time up two more minutes or five minutes. I've even seen 10 minutes before. So you, you know, for me, I want to get the bid in at the last second possible for, you know, and keep the least amount of time for somebody to, to bump up the price. I don't want to give them an extra second of even thought of being able to, oh, I want that for that price. So that's, that's for me waiting that last two to three minutes seems to be a good time to get your bid in in my opinion, the best bid. And if it's if it's in your price range at that point, that's the best time to start bidding. So, um, but that's just my typical strategy. The one thing you got to keep in mind as well is all these auction houses have different prices as far as fees. You'll have auction fees. You'll also have sales tax and you'll also have credit card fees most of the time. And you want to keep in mind roughly 22 to 25 is my number that I always generally place on top of whatever I'm buying of that's how much more I'm going to spend on it. So if I, I bet a hundred bucks, I'm I'm going to go ahead and bank. It's going to cost me one twenty five. Now, like in this case, you know, this auction is a ten percent buyer's premium. I think the sales tax is eight percent, and then there's another four percent on credit card. So just always want to keep that in mind. I'd rather be on the high side when I'm doing it than being on the low side. But I mean. Generally, even a couple percent is not a lot a lot of times. I mean, there are things that I bet on that are a few thousand dollars a piece, but I don't get crazy in these these big, big, huge auctions where some serious money flows. But uh, that's just my strategy on it. So, all right, we're down to the two and a half minute mark. I'm going to go ahead and place the bid. All right, so it says I'm high bidder currently. So that person who bidded before me did not put a higher bid than that. Four, three, two, one. All right, we won. Heck yes. All right, so now I'm excited. Let's buy some more crap. All right, we have changed location since the last few things went off that I purchased. Well, actually, I only purchased one because the other one went more than I wanted to. But we are getting down to the wire. I have these, eventually, bar stools that I'm looking to get. So six bar stools, they're currently at 55. We've got 10 minutes on those. And then I want the casino chairs to go in the game room. Uh, four of those chairs are a whopping oop, five bucks. So not terrible. In the past, I bought quite a bit from auctions and more specifically, I bought new equipment from auctions and stuff of that nature. And I do know that some of these auction houses actually bid back on the stuff that they sell and drive the price up. I mean, I've been in cases where I have technically lost it says i've lost lost been bidded outbidded and then a couple seconds later boom i, I magically have it at the last bid i had uh, i have also talked to some of the auction houses and been in there 
because I bought so much from them. I'm like, all right, I know y'all are bending this stuff back. And they're like, yeah, we'll buy some of it back. We'll put it in the next auction if it doesn't go for what I want. I, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. Honestly, I, I feel like it's wrong, truthfully, I guess. Um, you know, I think of auctions, you know, if you're, I guess it's one thing if you're selling it as a store, but I feel like if you're if you're saying it's an auction, it should go to the highest bidder, which I guess in that sense, they are the highest bidder, but um, I don't know. I just don't feel like it's right. But if you don't mind, leave a comment and, and tell me if you think it's right or not, because I'm curious what other people feel about it. Oh, the chairs are going up. But 80 bucks, still not bad. So three minutes and 30 seconds. Let's just see what happens. All right, so it's up to 90. Uh, let's see, we'll go, we'll do 90. So they're not at a 90. Let's try 100. Ooh, they've got more than 100 on it. You know, I just don't, I mean, I don't know if they're worth more than that. I mean, do we go 120? Yeah, still the same guy outbidding, so let's give it another minute. Actually, we're going to let this run on down to literally one minute left. Now, the other chairs don't have enough data behind them to show if anybody has a max bid put on them, but I do know this one is. All right, so it took 120. Now, whether we get them or not, we got 53 seconds. I probably should have waited a little bit longer, but... Oh, there it went. See, I should have waited a little bit longer. Give them time to bid it up. And let me see. Now, I did add a little bit of time to it because this was initially going off with the other one. And we're back at old buddy here at the 813. I'm going to stop at this point. All right, minute four. Let's see. What will we have to go to? That's the question. At 150, 170, 190. We go 210 and we'll stop. All right, so the 906 is back in this bidding game. My leg is shaking. All right, we just lost a bid on it, so not willing to go more. All right, last bit of the day. Last bit for me of the day, at least. Let's see if we can get it. We've got a minute, 40 seconds left. But honestly, 50 bucks is probably all I'm gonna do on these. 55? All right, we'll stop it there. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. So this 741 bidder just outbid me, but oh well, it is what it is. On to the next. Well, it's the next day and we're heading to pick up our auction winnings. So super excited. We didn't win as much as we wanted to, but at the same time, you got to set yourself some limits. And when you get to those limits, you need to stop because it's really easy to uh, really get caught up in this stuff. And you know, the last thing you want to do is overspend on something that you, you know, maybe was just marginally wanting or even if you did want it and you just overspent on it for what you can buy new or or where you can buy from somewhere else so uh, really got to find your limits know your limits and, and kind of stick to them which is what i did with some of the other things that we, we were looking to get but needless to say this popcorn vending machine i'm excited for it you know i don't know how you know i don't know if anything works or not i looked at the pictures look like all the guts are there um so we're going to hope that it works. If not, we're going to try to figure it out and uh, make it completely operational. If not, it'll just be a nice conversation piece once I redo it. Anyway, because it's kind of a nasty day. 
just gonna pull it back here. where to go maybe here hey hey how are you good is this where you come to pick up yes, yes, yes. okay right I, all right thank you Hey, good, how are you? I'm here to pick up. What's the last name? Cable, C-A-B-L-E. C-A-B-L-E. What's that number? Going to 179 and you are 67.95. All right. I'm sorry, 65.34. All right. Y'all got any more that's going to be coming up for this place? Or? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I missed the arcade games like son What's of a gun. What's that number again? 2179. Right here. Yep. <laughs> that makes it easy. <laughs> That's the first time dealing with y'all's auction group. So, well, so far it's been good. Be <laughs> no, I wish I would have caught the other ones because y'all had some arcade games come up that I would have dang gotten. I'm like, dang, numb it. I didn't see it till too late. Where, where are you located? I'm in Griffin. Griffin. Yep, so I mean, yeah, but I go all over, but yeah, email you one. You okay, can have that one carry you. I'm gonna Perfect. write something on here for you. You need to look up if you're into yeah. like old video games, yeah, things like that. Yeah. Pinball machines, video games. And so, so, I'm gonna show you something though while you're mine.
holy crap, that place had tons of stuff. Really surprised at the amount of just of everything in there. I mean, lamps, slot machines, bottles, I mean, furniture, just a magnitude of just stuff. I mean, I seen engine blocks in there. And, you know, I don't know how the, the Chapter 11 bankruptcy works, but, you know, I did read that's what was, was happening to the group was Chapter 11. And uh, this was the fifth auction they had, but I did go back yesterday and look back at the auctions back through one just to see what they had. But there was stuff in that building and stuff there that has not gone across the auction block, like the slot machines, uh, the poker table I never seen go across. I did see a crap or a roulette table. No, it wasn't roulette. It was a uh, it was a craps table that came across, but I didn't I didn't see it in there. So yeah, I don't know. I asked the guy. He told me that that's probably the last auction. So you know, I'm curious to know what's going to happen with that stuff. I did notice they had a hold on some of that things. It said hold. You know. February 20 something but like those slot machines I never once see go across the auction block I would have been all over that but I mean even looking back I didn't see them there so uh, yeah when we get home let's check out this popcorn machine super stoked <laughs> glory so before we plug this thing in and see if it actually works i'm going to open up the panel make sure there's nothing too terribly loose i mean but it's filthy and that's probably hard to see with the glare can't see in there it's dirty needs to be cleaned but overall pretty happy with this thing i mean and i've been thinking instead of paint i think we're going to powder coat it i think i'm gonna send it in my powder coater get it all cleaned up Dress everything up nice and powder coat it. But let's see if it actually works. Well, let's look. So, hard to see. But everything is in here, it looks like. Cup dispenser. Let's see if it actually works. All right, moment of truth. Oh, we got power. Biscuit. Looks like it may actually work. Or looks like the switch is not not acting right. Ha! Look at that. Where is it at? There we go. So we'll manually trip it. Maybe. Look at there, folks. And I'm curious. Is, does this door lock and then unlock? Doesn't look like it. Huh. 
So, at least it works. That's a big positive. All right, so apparently this thing is set up to take 50 cent, but only in dimes. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Dun, da, da, da. So I know it says 50 cent on here, which has been changed at some point, but I believe this at one time was only a 10 cent machine. So we'll see what we can do with it. So I forgot earlier to even show you these two awesome signs that came with the uh, the popcorn machine. I mean, they're not perfect. Got a few little blemishes here and there, but honestly, they look pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm going to use them. I think they turned out looking pretty dang neat.